How's it going, Aquarius? Time for your reading. So let's get right down to it. As you can see, I got a different setup here. I got, I've got uh, the camera that's above, so you can, you know, see the the runes and and the cards and everything else um, <clears throat> a little more clear. So what's going on with Aquarius? Aquarius. Aquarius. Hmm. That's El has. Here, let's get the card for that. It's kind of hard to see because it's so small and the camera is kind of far up. So El has in reverse is talking about, and it's, this is kind of like in, in, in a past situation. So I don't really see, this is either current or past. So El has is talking about <clears throat> to keep an eye out on, on possible trouble you're uh, coming your way not necessarily bad but you know just something just keeping your eyes out um let me see where the heck is el has at as soon as i get the other runes out here i'll know more there we go there's el has <clears throat> okay so you got el has there all right let's get you another rune here i'll just put these here for now going on here with Aquarius Aquarius Thoraz so you've got something tricky going on here uh, Aquarius interesting Thoraziasis that's how you say it I got in the bad habit of saying Thoraz but it's it's actually it's Thoraziasis <laughs> try to say it as best as I can so right now it looks like you're dealing with something kind of tricky so you know both of these cards both of these runes are giving me caution they're both they're both caution they both mean caution this is saying to watch out and be cautious and this is saying to watch out and be cautious so yeah you guys need to take a defensive stand <clears throat> this also can be in a defensive stand Let's see what the next rune is. Fehu. Ah. Well, hey. <laughs> you know, Fehu means money. So it looks like you guys got some money coming. That's kind of awesome. When I pull the uh, when I pull the uh, the cards out with the put these cards out, it'll be interesting to see. So <clears throat> here it is. So this is like a different type of a read, guys. This is uh, this is like one of those past, present, and future. However. It, it, it never usually turns out that way. Sometimes this so-called past could be actually um, still future or it could be uh, in the process. But I know that whatever it is that you're dealing with, Aquarius, it's a really tricky situation and, <clears throat> and you have to be really careful, okay? Because, I mean, I see, I see two of these right here and it's so... Just be cautious, all right. But I do see, <clears throat> I do see money coming your way. So I mean, that's really good news. That's really good news. So, because everybody likes money, you know, I do. <laughs> so let's pull some cards, guys, and and see what else is going on. <clears throat> What's going on with Aquarius? Whoops. There goes my. <laughs> one more. Sh well, I want to shuffle it. I want to shuffle it one more time now. Alright. Oh, Aquarius. 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 
gathering around <clears throat> the power of the community. So this particular um, this particular card, you guys, is talking about <clears throat> you know gathering around your friends. Just gather around your friends and family. I mean, I know El has over here can also be um, in reverse. It can also mean may, maybe feeling vulnerable. But you know, if you're around your friends and your family, um, it's all good. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's what this card means here. Some of the cards I know, and other cards I got to look on in the book. But <clears throat> that's what this is saying. Let's see what the bottom of the deck says. Feast of Plenty. I know what this means too. And the feast, the feast of plenty. Um, it's pretty good. <laughs> and it's like telling you, it's telling you to make a choice. So it doesn't matter what choice you make. It does not matter what choice you make, guys. Just, just make your choice. <laughs> okay. All right. And. Uh, of course, I want to see what's under here. Let's see what's going on with these. Spirit of the Keeper of the East. Hmm. Spirit of the Keeper of the East. This one here, I'm going to have to look in the book. But yeah, it's a beautiful card, isn't it? <clears throat> Let's see what that uh, exactly says here in the book. Spirit Keeper of the West. Spirit Keeper of the South. Where's the Spirit Keeper of the East? <laughs> Spirit Keeper of the North. Come on. There we go. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is really good. This is saying that a new beginning is a fresh cycle is occurring in your life right now, um, Aquarius. And wipe the slate clean. Now is the time to release uh, uh, the old and start again. No matter what's happened in the past, uh, it doesn't mean that you need to repeat it in the future. So that's a really good. That's a really good card. Yeah. Awesome. What does the one on the bottom say? <clears throat> Thunder drum. I know what this means. Thunder drum is talking about to, you know, be heard. Be heard. I'm going to look in the book and, and double check that. But yeah, it's like be heard, man. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's look. Let's look what the exactly the book says. Hmm. Let me see here. It's going to be start with a T. Almost there. Still in the S's. There we go. Be assertive. Don't be shy about sharing your gifts and letting the world know about your value. Declare with authority. <laughs> Declare with authority. Wow, awesome. <clears throat> okay. And then uh, let's see what's, uh, what we can do with this one here. What's going on with Aquarius? You know, I used to only do like one deck at a time and stuff, but um, I'm just, you know, I'm thinking I may as well use, you know, use more. It makes it more interesting, I think. What's going on with Aquarius? What's going on with Aquarius? What's going on with Aquarius? Aquarius. 
energy balance. Okay, that's interesting. <clears throat> okay, so uh, the energy balance is talking about these different chakras on your body. And whatever chakra, whatever color that you uh, pick uh, represents the chakra that you need to strengthen. For example, uh, the crown chakra <clears throat> is, you know, regular uh, quartz. You know, here's some regular quartz. And like the, the grounding chakra, this chakra here is uh, smoky quartz. And this is, this is, this is smoky quartz. So, I mean, every single chakra has, you know, different values and different stones um, uh, to represent, you know, different chakras. And maybe if you want to strengthen your chakras by using crystals, carry around the crystal that with the chakra that, you know, that you are, are most attracted to. Like, for example, now this would be like to carry around like one of these little things. And then this chakra here, the throat chakra, this is uh, <clears throat> uh, amethyst. So if you carry like some amethyst with you, you know, or now the blue one is topaz. Uh, topaz. So uh, it kind of looks, looks like this. Or turquoise, I mean, turquoise. Yeah, and it kind of looks like this. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's not really turquoise. I have turquoise around here somewhere, but it's hiding. Anyway, um, and then the yellow one, uh, the yellow chakra. I can't remember what, what, uh, which, uh, here, I'm going to look because I have it written down. <clears throat> and this is energy balance here. So let's look for energy, A, B, C, D, energy balance. Okay. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, so, uh, the green chakra here is rose quartz and this is rose quartz right here guys yeah so carry around a little little pieces of it you don't want to walk around with a big rock like this in your pocket but you know they sell these at little rock stores everywhere and they really help and then you know like for example too um <clears throat> i've got this one stone right here this is called moldavite and uh moldavite is really powerful type of a uh a stone and it's <clears throat> it's like millions of years old but it's so powerful I'm just touching it and my my fingers are tingling and going numb um, it's really powerful stone to carry this is good for like your third eye mm-hmm so yeah that's what that cards talking about all right let's see what's on the bottom of this one divine consciousness so let's look up let's look up divine consciousness <clears throat> divine consciousness sounds pretty good actually divine consciousness you are encouraged to meditate and remove yourself from earthly earthly dramas gossip and physical uh, issues and be gentle with yourself and take care of yourself drink lots of water eat lots of good food you know and that's what that card's talking about all right, Aquarius. All right. So anyway, I I'm gonna pull a moonology card or two, and then and then we'll say goodbye until next time. <laughs> Looks like a pretty good reading, though. It, you know, the, these uh, warning uh, uh, runes up here. You know, these are kind of fading away. So I wouldn't really sweat that. I think you've already kind of like are going through that or already have. So you might still be dealing with a tricky situation, but the good the good news is, is I see money. So, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> Let's get one more shuffle here, guys. All right. Come on. There we go. All right, Aquarius. Aquarius, 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 
Emotions are running high. Emotions are running high. I want to pull another one out. That doesn't tell me enough. Emotions are running high. See, it's Aquarius. I gotta shuffle them. I just I gotta feel these cards right. <laughs> it's been a long day. All right, let's see. A new start is coming. A new start is coming. So yeah, I kind of felt that. And that's good. That's that's a good one. The bottom of the deck, it says, <clears throat> you are good enough. And you are Aquarius, you're good enough. All right, guys? All right, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again next time, all right? All right, bye for now.